Wednesday. 6.59 a.m. January 29th, 2020. Since, since the one king fell, it's a toss up right now between, you know, like who's next. Whether it's one more, like Carl Malone, because he's second, and Brian Tucker, I'll give you credit for this one because. Because the mailman, I forgot all about his nickname being the mailman and, uh, and delivering the mail. And because he's number two and because Kobe Bryant already passed, passed away after the 2-3 bypass, the 2-3 bypassing of Kobe Bryant with LeBron James passing number 23. On 26, going through to the 16th, February 26-16, Led Zeppelin, the Conta de Donisteo, the Down Dynasty. The Down Dynasty is Kobe Bryant, according to Kleck, with the Kleckites. It's the Kleckites that that it is absolutely the group of people that believe that Jonathan Kleck is Jesus Christ. They are the Kleckites. They're the they're the Kleckites that they're not in on the, they're, they're not on the inside with him. They're just the Kleckites on the outside. The fools that are following him and believing everything that he's saying, they're the ones that are YouTube agents. They're not Hollywood agents. They're not. They're not the Kleckites. That they're not. They're not fully blind, but they're blind towards the fact of what Kleck is getting ready to do to you. Because you, upper echelon Kleckites, the ones right below him, the, the, the 32 degrees, the 32 degree Masons that haven't got your next degree yet, you know what he's doing, but you don't know that Kobe Bryant really didn't die. You don't know it, but you know that he was out to, to get him out of here, but you don't know that Kobe Bryant faked his death. You just believe that Jonathan Kleck is Lucifer. So that's that's definitely nailed down tight with those two different types of groups of people. The Kleckites that believe he's Jesus Christ in the flesh, that the poor people are so blind. And then and they have like they got good hearts and everything, but but the the upper echelon Kleckites that work for Jonathan Kleck. You guys are the ones that believe that he's Lucifer and he's promising you everything just like you know just like the world is supposed to be promised. And then there's the Hollywood actors. Man, you guys the Let's put it to you this way. When everybody goes and leaves this America, when they leave America, when like Kobe Bryant right now there's only one or two options that I'm leaning towards. And uh, the one that they're all in on it, they all know what the deal is. They all know that they're going to fake their death. They all know that uh, everybody worships, worships them as a god. And their whole purpose behind it is to teach people a lesson that, they shouldn't, that people shouldn't worship them. That's kind of hard to believe because of the ego of the superstars that... They haven't, their heart hasn't changed like in a way where they feel like teaching people a lesson. I just believe that until I feel otherwise, I'm sticking with 
Hollywood actors, the ones that took for definitely, definitely, the ones that have the bug tattoos by Kleck with his design on them, stamped with the mark of the beast that he's given you, you girls and guys that, you know, like the 50 to 100 different fallen stars that are going to sign away your, your, your life when the script is that you die, <clears throat> when it just keeps happening back to back to back, it's going to look hor so horrible that America is just getting, like, the terrorists are just killing all of our stars. That's going to put so much fear into people's hearts. You know why? Because if they're killing stars, they are not going to hesitate to kill you. That's going to be so great when that happens. When, when you start seeing all that, because it's because it ain't real. But whatever, you can believe what you want. To those people that are signing your life's over. Kobe Bryant, LeBron James last. Because he's going to be the one that's going to be looked at as the murderer. Look, it's a game of clue. It's who did it, where, when, and why. Colonel Mustard, LeBron James. Uh, he killed everybody. I mean, he just used his galactic weapon to off everybody. And the ultimate goal is to is to get rid of the church of Philadelphia. When that clock is up at 12 noon, it's over. Or 12 noon. Everybody that is over in the island that has left America. Everybody who... You guys know who Jonathan Kleck is. You're in Hollywood. You're either a movie star, an actor, or sports star. Basically, the, the main three. What else is there? You guys... The ten of yous. The top ten that are giving your power over to the beast by signing away your life... Your name. You're, you're selling your name. All you got to do is just sign... Yeah, here, okay. How many billions of dollars you give me, Click? Because I know you run all the banks and the money's... You know, you, it's your it's your damn image that we're worshipping. I mean, we are worshipping your images on the paper money, John Click. So, sure, yeah, I, I'll die. Where, where do I sign? How much? Ten billion? That's so awesome. I oh, mean... And we get to go to the... Antarctica Island where it's so beautiful out and they act like it's freezing cold but it's just beautiful and uh, and you don't have to worry about all these people that worship you anymore you can just go about your business and um, and you don't have to be bugged by these measly loser human beings that have paid your salary by the way for your entire career and uh because it's because of them that went to the games the reason why you can even sell tickets and, and get paid millions of dollars. So when you guys, when you top 10, Kobe Bryant, you're already there. If you're not in on it, then this is the only other option. You guys literally want America to burn, but you guys are out of here because you took the mark of the beast. How can you not see that's a trap? Whatever, you can't see it, that's fine, you're not supposed to. Those ten kings are supposed to hate the whore, which is America, and burn it. So when they're all over on their island, and when the final bomb, the Nakahakashirishima bomb, gets dropped on America, and they're all out of here, okay? They're out of here, their family's out of here, anybody they took, they're out of here out of here, America. As they're over there, that final bomb drops. It's three and a half, it's th at least, it's three days of darkness because everything's out. This is, when everything looks like it's completely annihilated, demolished, the, the entire, America's just been flat out destroyed. <clears throat> at, the, at the end of the 21 day uh, war, they're all going to celebrate. Kobe Bryant and them, they're all going to... Because they're looking at... They're looking at the people that watch them die. 
you know, and they're, and they're getting a reaction from everybody. And I'm sure some people are saying, like myself, like, he's not dead. And then all the Hollywood actors, they already know he's not dead. But you guys are all in on it, too, to get up out of America, to go over there. The ones that don't know that it's only going to look like America burned and it's annihilated. And you guys are going to be over there partying for that three and a half day period. Because you're looking at America like, oh, man, thank God we're over here. Oh, well, hey, look, whatever. I mean, they're just... They're all going to die eventually in life anyway. So why not? Let's just clear it out now. Oh, man. Is that then that surprise tapping on the shoulder? It's not even Jonathan Kleck being tapped on the shoulder now. See, my mind changes because knowledge increases and I get a feel for the world, the pulse of what they're doing. Jonathan Kleck is there purposely to his purposeful job is to mainly deceive the ten kings. That's what Jonathan Clegg's job is. <clears throat> so I'm gonna be, I'm gonna back off of hating and being this, the sickened by him, because now I'm getting it where he has a major. I mean, God is using him majorly to get those ten kings that hate America and everybody in it, and they they just don't like they. They, want, they love being worshipped by the people that they want to burn to death. Does that make sense? They they love the worshipping. But at the same time, they kind of want to just go about their own business at a certain point. But they they love being uh, getting the attention. They just do. We get the attention, too, uh, silently. But see, we know we're being watched. But at the same time, we're just being ourselves. They're, they're putting on a show because like a lot of people, a lot of Hollywood actors have a, an identity problem because they don't, because they act so much, they don't really know who they are and they know they're being watched all the time, but they're per, but people are like putting cameras in their face. They're not literally putting cameras in our face, but I mean, we're putting the cameras in our own face for them. So the surprise comes, the stand, the standing in the shade, the mo the people that are going to stand the shame the most is Kobe Bryant and the other nine kings. So Carl Malone, looks like you're up next. I'll say Carl Malone, Thursday, January 30th. Uh, what kind of accent? I don't. Maybe a dog ate him to death because he's the mailman. But it's not just about falling from the sky out of the airplanes. I mean, it might be, but I'm not going to limit myself to just that option because then something else might happen, like a car accident. It's like, well, my prediction's wrong because it wasn't a... He didn't fly out of the... It's like, no, Rob, and so you're wrong again. Carl Malone didn't die of a falling out of an airplane. He died in a car crash on Thursday, uh, January 30th at 3.33 p.m. <clears throat> so that's the plan for the other group of people because there's the top echelon top 10 kings they are deceived beyond belief and then it's other Hollywood actors and that don't know uh, they don't know that Kobe Bryant is not really dead there's, there's like you know like the backups and the the ones in the movies and stuff, the crisis actors, they don't know the LGBT community that's, that Steve said, Steve and James and Sean said is running YouTube. Like, you guys don't know that Kobe Bryant isn't really dead. You actually believe he, that he died. But you're also promised a bunch of things, and you guys are going to stand in shame, too. But the ones that are going to stand in the most shame are the, one, the ones that had no problem celebrating the death of America. You guys are in trouble, big time trouble. You need to repent. A lot of people need to repent of everything that they've done because the hellhounds are coming. Just know the hellhounds are coming for you. Whatever it is that you're doing on social media, it's 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 seen, it's known. No matter what you do, no matter what you say, no matter what you post, it's being surveilled. So it would be a good idea <clears throat> to repent beforehand. That way you don't stand there in shame because a lot of people are going to stand there shamefully.
Can you imagine, like, if, if you were, you were one of those people on that island, Paradise Island, like Clegg is promising, he's promising you everything. And then when, when it's blown up, <clears throat> in the three and a half days, and then you're partying, and then, and then you get the news. It's over, everybody. It was a hoax. How do you feel? You were, you were, you were glad that all those Americans, those, those 300 million people just got destroyed like that, annihilated, and you don't, and you can care less. Right, Kobe? You can care less about us over here in America. The ones that, I'm not saying me, but the ones that worship you as a god, you're going to rain down fire and brimstone. You don't care. But you don't even know that the fire and brimstone's fake. Everybody's being deceived. I'm just peeling straight through the layers and just giving you, there's at least seven different levels of people that are being deceived one way or another. And the ones that aren't being deceived, I thought it was Cleck. I mean, I thought Cleck was the last person to repent. He still has to repent for his lies. But I understand why he is lying. And look, at when it gets those ten kings to stand in shame at the end as they're standing on their island and they're watching the TV and they see that America's destroyed and you guys party it up and just... Cleck's going to have a party for a thousand of his lords... Cleck's the one that's going to tap you guys on the shoulder. It ain't Steve tapping Cleck on the shoulder. Ah, oh, man. This is so great. This is the most interesting game show that I've ever been a part of. It's the only one I've ever been a part of. It's my game show. My channel is the game show of who wants to be America's Next Top. The game show contestant. I mean, who can guess the script? Is there, was there ever one, was there ever a game show that was named, who can guess the world script? There you go. There's my game show. Wait until this, it's all over. And then in the future, like this game show is on about the things that happen. Because every day is a new episode. When I show things that people haven't seen it, it obviously gets you to look at like wow that's because as I see it there's there's things that pass me by and I'll listen to it again and I'll, I'll catch like um, how did I not see that Cleck is talking about Kobe Bryant in the same sentence with a snake in the crown the coronavirus and then the guy in Starbucks drew a picture of Kobe's uh, whatever his ad three weeks before it came up and then Cleck is telling that guy, he's calling Satan, that your time is up. And then Kobe Bryant's time is up. So he's making people think that he offed Kobe Bryant as Lucifer, which is the upper echelon Kleckites. And then he's making other people, the, the lower level Kleckites, believe that he's Christ because he's giving you these codes and symbols and showing you that this top, top major world influence person, Kobe Bryant, is dead because he told you that he was going to die that way with the helicopter accident and everything. He's the one that, you know, wrote that commert that cartoon, that drew the cartoon that he died with the rings. What other cartoons are going to be out there that when LeBron James, the final king dies and uh, and then Carl Malone which is coming up next, Michael Jordan, don't forget about him. He definitely has to go according to that script.